why 2020 was a make it or break it for a lot of relationships. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing. I am Fug It. It stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, we are rounding the bend here at the end of 2020. And don't tell me I can't wait till 2021 unless you've got some uh, fairy dust or a genie in a lamp. It's just another day. The calendar just flips to a one. It's symbolic for you, and it maybe uh, represents a new start. When you finally start pulling the trigger on some of your goals, then awesome. Then kudos to you. But the thing is, is 2020 was a very interesting year, to say the least. And if you were dating somebody or married and living with the person, or perhaps you decided to um, stay together during a quarantine time, then you got to spend a lot of time with your partner and perhaps children if there were any in the picture as well. Maybe you were staying at parents' houses, uh, roommates, etc. Well, there's a lot of stories about people getting on each other's last nerve and as soon as they were able to get out, they're getting out. And for a lot of other people, it's bringing them closer together. And I think, you know, some people have explained it as, you know, too much of a good thing is not a good thing, or all sunshine makes a desert, right? And it's true that, you know, our lives need to be in balance, you know? We're supposed to work a little, play a little, rest a little. And when you're, you never get a breather, you never get a chance to, you know, fulfill other sides of you know human needs and you know maybe money was tight whatever it was right it just creates like I said a pressure cooker and you know over the things that you've been through maybe this year are like things that might you might experience over the course of five years or ten years but you had them all one on top of another this whole calendar year and so you know a lot of tension a lot of pressure on relationships and you've got to look at that and say okay there's times where you need to take a step back you can work on problems it brings them all to the forefront right it all it all boiled to the top at once and so it's a make it or break it kind of situation kind of expedites the relationship into times of sorrow, you know, like when you take those vows for better or worse, there was a lot of worse, but if you looked at it closely, there was a lot of better too, we won't get into that today though, but, you know, they always say that there's like the love-hate relationships, where you care about somebody so much, you become so vulnerable to them, and in times of hurt, it's easy to say the worst things to the people you care about the most. And it's, um, you know, it's not an excuse, but it's an understanding of why with all the things going on in the world and the things going on, you know, household to household, why, you know, situations can arise where you don't necessarily have your best foot forward, right? But the thing is, is that if you've experienced some realization, right, some clarity on your relationship where maybe you tried through these times and you just found that you had a partner that has a really dark side of them and don't want to work on that to be better with you, then it's your time, you know, to make the move, you know, have that hard conversation, maybe it's, you know, make it or break it for you, you've seen enough over the last few months, and you want something different, something new, and, you know, you've given your partner that chance, hopefully you've had that conversation with them, 
you know, letting them know how you feel, because honesty is always the best policy. And maybe it exposed in you some things where you need some growth as well. And it's just very interesting that, you know, we had so many make it or break it type of things going on this year. And all in one fell swoop where it kind of expedites you either into the next relationship or maybe into their arms forever, you know? Everybody's different. It's a lot though. It's definitely a year that we will not too soon forget. Even though we might like to, but you know, it's all good. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So try to look on the bright side of things. You know, with each passing day, you have a decision for yourself to be better or be bitter. And I can personally say, and it's not to rub it in or to, you know, because believe me, I have my faults, but I use this year to be better. And it was a very clear fork in the road where you could go down a dark path or you could make yourself better by pulling yourself up, what do they used to say, by your bootstraps. But, you know, I, I personally took the year if you look at some of the videos I made from March and April of 2020 on to now, um, I did a lot of different things with my career. Uh, things are getting back to a little bit more normalcy, not quite where they should be, but still moving in a better direction. Hopefully they continue to trend that way, but depending on where you are in the country or in the world, you know, it's, it's always different. So, you know, take those circumstances that you're in, Look for the silver lining because there always is one and you will be a stronger and better person for it. So if you guys have any comments on it, let me know. We can discuss it here. I always love feedback and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care.